So to start this off, this is an introduction and analysis. This starts off with an introduction and analysis of Mao Zedong and his principles. That was done guy, by a guy named Brigadier General Samuel B. Griffith, United States Marine Corps. And to put a little background on General Griffith, he served as the executive officer and later commander of the 1st Marine Raiders Battalion on Guadalcanal. He served as the executive officer of the 1st Raider Regiment in operations on New Georgia. He received the Navy Cross, which is only second to the Medal of Honor on Guadalcanal. September 1942 for extreme heroism and courageous devotion to duty during the fighting near the Mantanao River. During this action, Griffith suffered wounds for which he was awarded the Purple Heart. For his exploits in July in New Georgia, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. So this guy's highly decorated. And here's the bonus here. He spoke Chinese. And he was stationed in China several times. So this is the guy that actually translated this book from Chinese to English. So I don't think you could possibly come up with a better person to, to base this translation off of than, than General Griffith. Pretty awesome to have that kind of person and still be able to look at his work. So let's get into this book here. Mao Zedong on Guerrilla Warfare, translated by Samuel B. Griffith. Mao Zedong, the man who was to don the mantle of Lenin, was born in Hunan province in central China in 1893. His father, an industrious farmer, had managed to acquire several acres and with this land the status of a middle peasant's peasant. He was a strict disciplinarian, and Mao's youth was not a happy one. The boy was in constant conflict with his father, but found an ally in his mother, whose indirect tactics, as he once described her methods of coping with her husband, appealed to him. So we already get a little flag here. You know, here was this guy, and he looked at the way his mom dealt with his dad, and she used these indirect tactics. Mm -hmm. I talk about that all the time. And you're going to see that he uses these indirect tactics in a, in a military way as well. Shortly after, grad, back to the book, shortly after graduating from normal school in 1917, Mao accepted a position as assistant in the Peking University Library. Here, he associated himself with Marxist study groups Here, he discovered Lenin, read his essays, poured over Trotsky's explosive speeches, and began to study Marx and Engels. By 1920, Mao was a convinced communist and a man who had discovered his mission to create a new China according to the doctrine of Marx and Lenin. When the CCP was organized in Shanghai in 1921, Mao joined. So that's sort of where it begins. Mm 